Late December 2013, almost Christmas. Got a new build project here. It's uh, Walters, another Walters building. I need to get some other bu buildings up here for you guys. No, I'll work on that. Uh, Art, you'll particularly like this one. It's got some good masking in there. I'm sorry, I don't have any end scale stuff. But I'm going to go through uh, putting this model together with a little bit of emphasis on uh, the roof detail. Uh, brickwork was really good on this model. Uh, it has this asphalt parts on this building too which uh, kind of added a little bit of work. I use this rust color. So this is another cheap German paint that I ran across somewhere. It's a little bit different. Give me a little bit different brick color on it. And I use my camouflage colors I love so much. I paint both sides of these uh, sprues on these windows. And I roll through, I, and I, I had a broken window here. I actually fixed this uh, later. I don't think I got it on video, but it, it was fixed. And I desprue all these <laughs> thousand windows. Uh, front part of this building is three pieces to form the front wall, and uh, using these guides, you can get it put together to get the front of your building uh, nice and. And I'd recommend using uh, some super glue on this. The uh, regular modeler's glue that I use, moving back and forth between the sink and handling this thing, it really didn't hold up. It's just not thick enough, I don't think, uh, where the joints are at. To, so, like maybe some thick CA. Using this water based acrylic, I go through and I just get all the uh, uh, mortar joints. Just using a thin paint, let it seep down into these mortar joints. I'll do this using uh, Mr. Clean uh, Magic Eraser. So I'll, I'll go through and take it off, put a little bit more on, take off some. It gives this brick really good, a really good variation, you know, doing it in so many steps. And this might, I might, I might take three or four steps doing this. I'll take a little bit off, put a little bit more on. Yeah, get a little detail here. Here I'm doing the window seals and uh, I wound up painting the tops of these two. You look down on a building and you see the tops. You see me painting the sides here, but uh, I do go back and hit the tops as well. This masking tape is ultra thin and it's perfect for, for doing stuff like this. Uh, and, and I'm sure they probably have this like in the painter's section or something, but uh, uh, I was really happy to find this stuff. It, it really cuts nice with an X-Acto knife. And something else I've used this for is it's just thin enough where you can use it like as a window shade. You know, if you tape it on the inside of a window, uh, it looks like a smoke, smoke, uh, stained uh, uh, window shade. And I get everything masked up. What I'm wanting to do is cover all the brick, anything, anything brick here. And uh, using this khaki paint or cover all this concrete color. I could have used a gray and you know the Woodland Scenics uh, concrete color probably look real nice on here too. And I get the backside too. That shows on the roof. And being Christmas, here's a, opening a Christmas present. It's a real nice reveal. Show, uh, show how everything looks and uh, got lucky. Didn't have any runs or anything. Isn't that pretty? So I get all this peeled off. nice it really came out nice uh, this building also uh, it's a background building and you can it has guides and everything in here so that you can cut it down if you want to use like a two inch background building uh, you can take off about four inches 
you can kind of see these groove lines in here if you look close enough. And using this 120 grit sandpaper, I spread out this glue on here. It's a pretty stout glue. And get it out on the edges so that it, it'll uh, 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 make sure and get all the sandpaper glued to this, this rooftop. And after it dries, I just trim it up. And it's ready now. I'm gonna I'm gonna mix up some rust color paint here. Uh, just, it's a water-based acrylic. I'm gonna run it through the paint gun just to try and give it a little bit of uh, character. Uh, just to kind of run in a little bit of rust color onto this roof. And since I'm uh, running this, it's thicker paint. I have to use a pretty high pressure on my, my paint gun here. And, uh, air compressor. And so I get just a little bit of variation on the roof here, not, not a whole lot. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to mask it off uh, to create some tar lines. Now this is uh, definitely personal preference. I, I like uh, tar lines on roofs that aren't perfect and, and that's what I'm doing here. As you can see I'm really putting the paint on thick here because I actually want it to, to run so that it'll give it a little bit of a I don't know, like it's mopped in and running. And you can do this if you want to do real tight uh, tar lines. Just do it in uh, smaller amounts of paint. Here, I'll get uh, rooftop details. You're seeing a lot of stuff here. Uh, a bunch of different things. Now I'm going to drill some holes. Use a little bit of wax, kind of lube up this. Uh, drill bit. I'll drill some holes in the power boxes and stuff in these, these uh, air conditioners and generators. And, and I'll make a little junction box here. This brown paint really looked good on here. And, and you know, whenever I was watching this video, I just noticed how good it looked. And I probably should have left, you know, like maybe one of them. Or maybe, the, uh, maybe the generator brown. But I'll hit it with this lemon color. Uh, this all going through this weathering. I, I through this whole time I'm putting this roof together. I'm I'm adjusting and playing with this weathering, and uh, I, I'm using three different shades of weathering powder, and uh, I lay down the lightest shade first, and then keep working up to darker and darker and smaller and smaller. But after I figure out where everything is going to be placed on the roof, I'll get it set down here. I put a little bit of tar on, you know, paint the bottom uh, underneath where things uh, touch the roof. So I go through with a little bit darker. Uh, weathering powder and I'm using a lot of water because I actually want it to form some water lines and this stuff will uh, kind of seep down and, and uh, give it a look like water had been standing on these buildings and that's what I'm doing and I'll do it in a circular motion whenever it's dry I'll come back and I'll, I'll kind of wipe on it wipe it off a little bit just kind of blend it in a little bit And here, this is just some, I picked this up at a craft store. I have a bunch of different types of wire, and this, I believe, is used for necklaces, and I'm just uh, putting this together to wire this up. Now, I took this over. I didn't show it. I took it over, and I spray-painted the, the wire rust color, and I just feed this in, kind of figure out about where I want it to run. I'll set it, you know, along the roof there and get it, get the length set and trim it, kind of get it to lay down on the roof. And then I'll cut it uh, to length and put it into the little holes that I drilled into this uh, equipment here. And still, there's some in here where I'm still doing some weathering on some of the tops of these. And I paint the little power handles on this. And kind of adds a little bit. Here I'm putting the roof on. I'll just sop this up real good with glue. Something I didn't, don't have in here either is when you get a roof put in, you know, you kind of have a tar around the edges that, you know, keeps it from leaking. And I don't actually have that in this video, but you want to go around the edge of the top too to make it more realistic. 
Give us black paint, you know what I mean? Let me zoom the car. And here I just want to make a little water drainage uh, pipe from the, the roof down. And I'll just do that with some, some styrene. And on the weathering, uh, a really light weather. I, I didn't weather this building too much. I, I, I figure it's an apartment building. People don't want to live in uh, drabby apartments. But what I'm doing here, I'm using this makeup brush. It's real fine. Uh, I'm using the brown. And all I'm really doing is just trying to highlight certain things like uh, like this uh, concrete. Uh, moving it back and forth uh, over this stuff, it, it'll accumulate on the corners and, and highlight the uh, features on, on the uh, concrete. And then I'll come in with a little bit of black, not a lot, just just enough to kind of give it a little bit of something to look at. Here I'm gonna put the glass in. This uh, sheet that they give you is just thick enough to do this, so uh, I measured this off pretty tight, uh, make sure that it, it covered all the the windows, and I just do this in strips. And here I'm going to add uh, some uh, black poster board to uh, kind of block the windows out a little bit so that they'll reflect. And because it's a background building, it'll set up against the back, uh, the, the layout, and get the side windows there pretty good. So that's about it. Uh, I still went through and did a lot of detail cleaning up and spot painting and stuff, but uh, I think it turned out really nice. Good model. Well, I hope you guys liked it. You guys take care and uh, have a, a good Christmas. Well, I guess if it's Christmas time for you right now, take care. <laughs>